Okay, the 660 Extra. Um, L-shaped lounge. Uh, so, okay, this is nice. This is what I wanted to find. So it's L-shaped lounge, dinette behind me, and well, we'll see when you see when we turn around. French bed, dinette. This is family mode to the max, right? I mean, these are obviously would go well. I'll stop using the word obviously. This will go into a bed. <laughs> I'll just open random cupboards. I'll just give you an idea of. Uh... See, this is okay. this. I like this. I mean, wouldn't suit. Us, although it might, don't you don't need to have a family actually on this arm because you just have an extra dining area. If you like a dining area, somewhere to work, sit back there, relax, somewhere to dine or work or go on your laptop, and then sleeping. Nice big wardrobe, outer heating. Bathroom. Morning. Right. Morning. Yep. <laughs> ah, big fridge. I'm going to say wider doors as well, even though I've got to be careful with the old rucksack. Ah, I thought you said transverse bed. It's not, it's uh, obviously bunk beds and a dinette, which is good for families. Enormous wardrobe, you could use that as another bedroom. <laughs> That's very. And I'm personally, you know, I've been indoctrinated with UK caravan so this kind of worktop is a bit strange to me but that's a personal thing and it's a smaller oven not not no grill by the looks of it could be an inbuilt grill correct me if I'm wrong those that know a toilet and shower in the same compartment which is good smallest small-ish sink I think with um, a lot of non-UK vans I think they really base life of you living outside when you're during the day um, so things like a small oven and a small sink you'd be cooking outside that's you know that's the gist of it a table in there again big fridge Fetford Consultina doors kind of go across there, making this a bedroom. Double bed, obviously. <coughs> Excuse me. Easy makeup and additional bed. Well, that additional bed, if you've got parents, you need to sleep somewhere. I'm guessing the kids would be up there and parents would be down here. So it's not an additional bed, is it? Removable shelves. Okay, you know, innovation, right? You can you can move them, take them out. Not sure that's really innovative. I'm kind of feeling that Adria used different materials to the likes of Bailey and Swift. They feel very different, like the, the covers feel different. That's what a 20 inch TV would look like there. 
like pockets like that. I've been trying to get some of these for our caravan. I can't find them anywhere. Only the ones that have got nets. I wanted kind of like material ones. I don't know why I said that was a transverse bed. I think I was looking at that. <laughs> it's the bin, you remember what? Um, six berth. Massive, massive front lockers. And huge A-frame. Great for bike racks. And good opening windows. Go for one opening window at the front. So that's the Avon. Is that what I said it was on there, I think? Yeah. Okay. 622DK Avon. There you go. Where should we go next? Let's have a look at the... Alpina twin axle Colorado 44,000 two single beds barn door That's quite a very open plan. I do like these. They they're just different from UK caravans which isn't necessarily a bad thing, is it? Headrests removable cupboards like aircraft aircraft hanger aircraft hangers no not hangers they're not that big but aircraft um lockers above your seat you know the way they're curved giving you a bit more room i guess now that's a big kitchen worktop again free gas burners dramatic sort of sort of thing you'd see in a camper van is it maybe uh -huh. Big lots of drawers and again the small oven that's I mean that's standard with Adria right just a big area for the TV there look a nice control panel up there the more I see twin singles the more I like them is, is it weird that um, the cupboards are there and you've got your feet under there I suppose no one has feet quite that big right so it should be alright, just might take a bit of getting used to. But it does give you these outer, outer heating uh, tank and fuse box or consume unit, whatever you want to call it. And now, is that a very small wardrobe? Like that thick, it's got to be the toilet, hasn't it, and the shower? Which, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's the way I would think the van would end. It's huge, it's an absolute monster. A bit dark in here, but there is a window. I was complaining with Bailey, well, not with Bailey, I mean, at the Baileys, but no windows in the bathrooms. Nice big shower, skylight, spotlight track sort of thing. Sort of acceptable uh, fruit bowl sink. In fact, just pop in here, show you, sorry, show you around there, down, down the, down the uh, whole length of the caravan. Again, quick look round. External barbecue point. Again, huge A-frame, huge front locker, spare wheels in the front locker. I would think you'd need a reasonably sized car to tow this. Empty PLM, a 2,000, yeah, 2,000 kilograms, so, yeah, the GLE would do it, but that sort of size car. the Alpina Colorado I do like the rears of Adria 
following on a theme of me being obsessed with the rear of caravans. It's not illegal, you know, it's perfectly normal. This is quality caravan vlogging. <laughs>